Hi, my name is Matt Sweeney, and I'm uh, meeting Tosin Abasi from Animals as Leaders. So this is a blind date, you guys, and uh, it's going pretty good. Yeah, I think I think so. When did you start messing with the guitar? Uh, I was 12. Mm. I had a friend who was already playing guitar, and he had it in his living room because he was taking lessons, and like. I would just see it there. I was already playing clarinet in the school band, but that's not a very like... I started on clarinet too. Really? But then um, the guitar was like the skateboard of instruments or something, right? Sure. Was, mm -hmm. So the guitar was super attractive, and then there was music that I was being moved by that was guitar-based music, not clarinet-based music, so... So your friend has a guitar and you started messing around with that. Do, can you recall what the first thing... Yeah, he, he was like... Oh, yes. <laughs> That. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was your first that that was your first move lick. Yeah. Or, wow. And I remember being like the coordination between the pick and the left hand was just like okay that's really weird, but there's something addictive to like hashing that out mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And this was like right when alternative music was huge. So like this is like early '90s or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh. So like Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Soundgarden, Smashing Pumpkins, and it was the first music I've listened to that had like emotional complexity to it like it wasn't overtly happy or sad mm -hmm. and I don't want to say our music isn't emotional but there isn't like a guy right 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 yeah. you can't hear the emotion in the human voice and that's just such an easy conduit to convey emotion but we do it through you can convey anxiety harmonically or rhythmically come on and uh, give it up convey some anxiety <laughs> 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 well, I gotta think I'm on the spot now uh, I don't want you to be anxious about having to convey anxiety, but... <laughs> Let me see. This is kind of a cool one because it's primarily like uplifting, but then there's like a chord or two where an interval happens where it seems like off, you okay. know? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of gives you like this familiar sense of like whatever, and then that one interval happens. Did, it, um, did, did you end up going to a teacher? Uh, no. How the fuck, how the fuck <laughs> did you learn all this? <laughs> this is uh, I didn't go to like a, like a traditional teacher, but luckily for me, there was a lot of like hair metal guitar players who had contracts to make instructional videos like in the late, That's what you got into? late 80s and early 90s, yeah. So what Hot was licks it? videos. REH videos, you don't know about these? No. See? <laughs> out, man. I don't know how, I think my local music store had a section of just all of these like, it'd be like a dude with like an Ibanez and like big hair and I'm like, that guy can probably play guitar pretty fast. And then I would like get the video and I would just constantly watch it and rewind it and learn everything in it. Could you, could you give an example of, 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 of Name, name one guy and show you, to give an example of what he showed you. Okay, some of it might seem similar. All right, the Paul That's Gilbert fine. stuff was like. <laughs> the scale fragments. Stuff like that, just in increasing the speed or whatever, because muscle memory is like where it all comes together. For, you know? for sure, for sure. Ingve Malmsteen had the whole like um, it sounded to me. It sounded like Bach played through like a Marshall full stack or something. Mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of like. That's all. But now the only reason that sounds good is because he has an echo on it. This has nothing to do with I can turn the echo off. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm kidding. It's just my lead tone. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. Um, all right, so, but, so that's based off of a scale, yeah? Yeah, the harmonic minor scale, so which that. to me was I called the Ingve scale, which is. Uh -huh. is that right?
you were learning this stuff when it, I would say it was unfashionable to be to be doing that. Were you aware that that that, that you were almost that you were doing anti <laughs> against the grain movement? I don't want to say I would do it in secret, but man, some of those videos like you do not want someone to walk in while you're watching them. Like Frank and Bali has a video that has like bikini girls yes. like like with like almost like it's a boxing boxing match per round and they're like holding signs and it's just like <laughs> Richard Simmons mixed with like instructional cuz he <laughs> it's like a workout like a guitar workout right. thing man what when did when did the tapping start i mean i think everyone was aware of like you know eruption and van halen sure. style tapping and i like eddie cuz he's like a rock Player. like he's grounded in rock and blues but then like the level of chops and like some of the innovation is like pushing that whole thing forward you know yeah it's like holding a chord so like like an E major seven chord or something and then whoa yeah like I'm using two fingers like on the E and um the G string Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. And what's cool is that the chord acts like a capo. You're right, right. So like when you pull off, it rings against this chord like a harp or the applications are way more more musical. Diverse, right, right. You know? um, and then I started to just kind of compose tapping riffs. Um, I mean, I would do things like... Now I'm almost, I'm arpeggiating, um, you know, with two hands, and you know, it just has a really cool sort of it sounds cycle, great. cycling yeah. effect. Could you, could you show me so, something that you've been working on, something new that, 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 you, that you've been working on? Uh, sure. Um, this is kind of an extension of some of the slap technique stuff I was doing, which uh, oftentimes is a combination of like a hammer on mm. and like, you know, actual like thump or something. Mm. So you're using your thumb kind of like a pick. I knew. So it's down. Yeah. Down and up. Mm -hmm. You can incorporate, you know, other fingers. Dude. Yeah, which so, is cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like, you know, there's combinations of hammer-ons. So I kind of took that idea, hammer-ons and, and, and thumping, and kind of started to use my pick. When, when did you start with this eight? I've never seen an eight-string guitar in, in, in the flesh. This is um, my signature guitar. Oh, sick, really? This is the really? Tosin Abasi model. Tight. Available at your local <laughs> store. Uh, yeah, I designed this. It rules. It's very <laughs> versatile. It sounds great. looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can... I'm, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah, man. thank you. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Thanks, guys.